So, you guys probably noticed in my last um, Black Mamba Born to Hunt video that we've got a new dog. And this little yellow dog, her name's Lily. And Lily is a stag hound, which means she was bred for many, many generations for running down and catching coyotes. So, stag hound lines are typically mostly greyhound with some other sight hounds mixed in, like, for example, Scottish deerhound but mostly Greyhound, and you can tell she's got mostly Greyhound blood in her. Um, but they're, they're not a purebred, they're basically just a working bred dog. They're bred to complete a task. It doesn't matter what breed it takes to complete that task. You just breed the good ones to the good ones. She is um, a lot smaller than most stag hounds, and that's actually why they gave her to us, because they want a bigger dog for running down coyotes. And we don't really need a bigger dog for what we do, so I wanted a smaller stag hound, and so we got Lily. So Lily's about six months old, and um, a lot of you guys who aren't used to looking at sight hounds might say, oh look, she's so skinny, you need to feed that dog. That's just the way they're built. They're built very thin, very lean, and have very little body fat. She could be a little bit fatter, but not much, and to, to the untrained eye, she'll always look skinny, no matter how fat she is. So this is Boss. He's about the same age as Lily, just a couple days older, so six months old. And he's a mixture of Whippet, Pitbull, and Staghound. So his mother was three quarter Staghound, one quarter Pitbull. His father was five eighths Whippet, three eighths Pitbull. So that's his mix. They're already used to the mink. We've done a little bit of basic training, but not much. But they are used to the mink now, so we don't have to worry too much about them grabbing the mink. I will be getting to know both of these pups over the next little while before deciding on which one I'll end up keeping. If I like both dogs, then I'll keep them both. If I don't like either, then Boss will go back to his original owner, and we already have a home lined up for Lily if she doesn't work out. The reason I got six-month-old pups, rather than an adult dog or a tiny little puppy, is I needed something that was young and impressionable enough that I could safely teach them to respect the mink, but old enough that I could start working with them sooner. I was originally hoping for something a little older, like around nine months, but these pups are the ones that I found that interested me, so I thought I'd give them a try. After giving the pups a couple weeks to adjust to their new surroundings and a little bit of basic training, we took them out in the desert for some kangaroo rat hunting. The kangaroo rats are obviously good food for the mink, but in addition, they also provide good training for these little pups. We wanted to give them a nice soft introduction to catching small running prey, rather than get them on rats that would likely bite them. Okay, so this is Onsa's brother. If you guys saw the first video of Onsa, uh, you, you might recognize him by color. Obviously he looks totally different because he's all mature, but this is Onsa's brother owned by my buddy Alex and he's coming out tonight to help get the pups started on their first little hunt. Just like the baby mink, we like to start them easy. Things that don't bite and don't run too hard so we're gonna get them a little bit of kangaroo rat action yeah. tonight. And uh, <laughs> Old Tuff's gonna show them how it's done and get them excited about it because they don't know what they're three. doing. Yeah, he's already caught three. And uh, we haven't even get, no, couldn't even know. get the pups out in, in time, so. S -s -s -s. Boss, right here. Boss. Oh, people kick it in my way. Yeah, boss. Good boy, boss. Follow that one. Keep an eye on it. Oh crap, boss is tangled. Good boy. Good boy. Get out of the way. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Boss. Right here. Did you catch the other one? Yeah. Is it dead? 
Yeah. Here, get closer to me. I'll show the all the bikes. Oh my goodness. Boss. Boss. Oh, yeah, I about ruined that one. <laughs> I stepped on the leash. As I'm sure you've noticed by now, out of the two pups, Boss was pretty much doing all of the hunting. Lily did have one nice little chase that we didn't catch on film, but for the most part, she just watched. We'll have to wait and see if she turns on in time and becomes a good hunting dog, or if she would just be better off as someone else's pet. Now for those of you wondering if I'm still getting a Malinois, the answer is yes. In a few days I will be getting a little 8 week old Malinois puppy, and I will be doing an entire video on that subject. Long before we lost Onsa, I had already decided that I would be getting a Malinois puppy from Logan House Kennels, which is one of the best police and military dog breeders in the world. For many months now, I've been waiting for the right Malinois litter to be born, and now the puppies are just days away from being ready to come home. The videos I'm showing here are of dogs this breeder has produced, so you can see the kind of quality he routinely produces in his dogs. for the first time in her life yesterday and I saw immediately the same genetic traits that her mother and her father have and we'll demonstrate that right now which is a calm full grip lots of confidence pushing in very hard bite um, and lots of drive so the same type of grip same exact grip as her mother she pushes in every chance she gets she swallows the, the equipment her tails up her tails wagging good job girly nothing I can do Second time ever in her life doing this. Yeah.